What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. The book is entitled Lessons from a Non Custodial Father at Amazon Kindle and Create Space. A link will be in the description box below, as usual. This video is entitled Did Technology Kill Competitiveness? You know, I'm sitting there and I was looking at something. An old clip of Pernell Whitaker. Not an old clip of Pernell Whitaker. They were showing old clips of Pernell Whitaker. But he was talking about boxing. And for all y'all who don't know, I have a boxing podcast called Cheap Seats Boxing Show. And something we had been talking about for years on the show was how the fighters aren't competitive like they used to be. And I thought about that. And I also thought about, you know, how, you know, not just sports, but life is less competitive. And and I think, you know, technology has something to do with that. Because when I was a kid, like Atari first, you know, my, my older cousin was playing Atari. Like when I came up, it was really Nintendo, you know, Nintendo, Sega Genesis and all that other good stuff, right? But I remember... Between him and I, because he we have like a ten year age difference, and if we played a video game that that had some kind of activity on it, it would it wasn't like if you win the game, if you won the game, you won that game. But we could take it outside and and do something and compete that way. Also, you know, we used to race in the streets. We used to, uh, you know, lift weights. We used to. You push up challenges and, you know, who give if somebody put a, try to give another person a frog on their arm or something like that. You know, we'll play the video, like, like the, the basketball game, but then we'll go out and play basketball, see who could really win, you know. Same thing with football. To a degree, the same thing with baseball. And for all of y'all who don't know, it's the same thing with academics. When I was in, when I was young and in, in high school and in, in, in college, like, you know, it's cool to be smart, like, but it was better if you actually put the work in and read and, and did your own research on your own because um, you wanted to show that you were smarter than people. Sometimes the grades ne didn't necessarily, my grades didn't necessarily show it, but I had, like, external issues that I was dealing with when I was in, in, in both high school and college. So, you know, it's, it's, it's different when you're learning on an empty stomach and no sleep. You feel me? <laughs> but the thing about it was because of so much um, the, the competitive nature of actually proving that you were better than somebody was, was taken into consideration. And there were rules to it. Like, um, we wanted people at 100%. If you was hurt, it was cool. Like, if somebody beat you hurt, they were, it wasn't going to go easy on you because you were hurt, right? They were going to respect that you was there to compete and you was going to do your, your best to win. But we weren't going to, you know, um, if you hurt your ankle or something, we're not going to kick you in the ankle while we're playing. We just going to gonna play straight up like we would. If, you know, you out there to play, but we're not going to play dirty with you because you got a hurt ankle. We're not going to go at your ankle, you know what I'm saying? Because we had a level of competitiveness, like because some people were just good enough to beat you, whether they were 100 percent or not, and some people thought it through, had a good a game plan, and some people just were just gonna get dominated. It was what it was. But as I got older, I noticed, you know, technology, the internet, and doing less and less and less. Like you know, I'm, I would say this from time to time, and I would crack that joke that. You know, I feel stupid because I don't remember telephone numbers. Like, I, I, I'm not going to say I don't remember telephone numbers. That's, I'm, I'm taking it too far out of context. I don't remember everybody's telephone number. Like, I used to remember everybody's telephone number because that's what you had to do. You had to memorize things and, and repetition. And even not if repetition, if you had to call somebody in the jam... You had to remember those numbers, right? Now you just pick up your phone, and if I, if you lose your phone nine times out of ten, you might lose your. If you had to use a pay phone, you might not know who to call because you don't remember the numbers. Like, 
But we used to have games about, you know, challenges about everything. Like, who was the best dancer? Who was the best singer? Who was the best rapper? You know, everything was about competition. Because we were, you know, that was part of being outside playing as kids. You always want to know who was top dog. But technology kind of took that from you because less people um, want to put in the work and want to deal with adversity because what technology did do was it stripped, it stripped people of adversity, you know? It stripped us all of adversity. Like, uh, yeah, I'm getting my Kevin Garnett on right now. Uh, it stripped us of adversity to the point where... You don't have to do anything to get something done, per se. You don't have to put in the work to 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 to, to know top-notch information. All you got to do is is you know Google it or you know hit the Siri or Alexa button, right? And information at your fingertips. But when it comes to practical application or innovating or creating something new, um, it became a problem. And the thing about technology, I think technology works better for people in this society who are who knew how to navigate social circles because social circles are competitive, but they really don't take any effort. All you're doing is getting to know people and telling and trying to be likable to people, and those people give you a good or bad reputation, and then your name spreads around that way. But that doesn't that that for the most part doesn't necessarily mean your name spreads around and your reputation spreads around because of your actions. You know, social media is just in uh, in just yeah, social media platforms are basically um, big high schools, and I think they're cool. I like them, and you're in the in crowd or you're not in the in crowd. It has nothing to do with if you're good or not. You know. Same thing with music. Like, we used to compete. Like, you know, who was who was this? Who was that? I mean, same thing. I remember being a kid and having those math classes and calculus and physics. We would compete to see, you know, whose formula. You know, one of the best competitions I I, I ever had, and I, I was I actually was sick because I didn't eat and I didn't sleep well. Uh, we had this physics challenge where. Um, we put a, you know, it was old school shit. You put a cup in the hallway, and you had a um, a Nerf gun. And before you could shoot the, before you could shoot it, you have to mathematically think about the equation. You know, speed of the guns, dis, speed, distance, force, um, acceleration, and, and angle, and you you know trajectory. We was working on trajectory at the time. And the competition was who would get it right to shoot that, like, the Nerf projectile into the cup. We was, like, in the hallway. And that was one of the dopest shits because it was a challenge that, you know, if you got your math and your math and, and science and your formulas correct, then you were, you were the winner. But because it was, like, we still we were high school students then. Um, because we weren't thinking about you know, certain other factors then he let us forget, forget about so we could put them into the equation or whatever. The competition, the pressure was fun. Like, it was a, a fun brain pressure because, you know, did they get it right? We're going to find out because if they hit it, it's our ass. If they miss, we in there, right? That's in, but in life, you, you might only get one chance to get it right. But technology makes, oh, you know, I got a such and such and such, put that in the phone or the computer, it goes this way to this way, and the distance is, you know, three, three meters and seven, you know, and 17 inches uh, with, with the, the gun at an angle of 25 degrees, then you're like, ain't that a bitch? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you didn't do anything. But I think, because technology ruins that, and, and I see it, and I see it over and over and over again, because... Technology kind of ruined the creativity, you know, and people's ability to adjust and adapt and work with things. And sometimes people don't understand why old school methods are better than new school methods at times because old school methods are raw. Not necessarily raw, they're, they're, they're fundamental and principle. You know what I'm saying? There's no cheating. 
You know, once you get the, the mind and body on one accord, it's, it, it's utilized as the best weapon on the planet. Um, anything that you, that you add to it just enhances your uh, ability. And I see it when I watch, you know, people aren't as, as smart, people aren't as articulate, people uh, can't stand on their own belief, people can't handle adversity, people can't, people have no conviction, um, people are more cowardly because they can hide behind the shadows, because when we used to be competitive, um, I wanted to say it to your face, I wanted to do it to you, you know what I'm saying, I wanted to, I wanted to let you know what's up, and I'm a clown. In, in, in real life, I'm, I'm a I'm a joke. I'm a clown. I'm a loud mouth clown. But and sometimes I just happened back in the day. People didn't take me seriously until I got serious, and they didn't know I got serious until they got serious. But you know, nobody wants to lay down. Nobody backs down. Nobody wants to hear that. You know those shenanigans about oh, talking your way into stuff and not out of stuff. And I'm not talking about violence or anything at the moment. I'm just talking about competition, like. We don't, technology made it so we don't have to be the best. I remember um, over the summer, I took my son to the basketball court and I was laughing at him because he says, um, I, was like, I was like, why you keep trying to shoot threes? You're too small. And he's like, I can shoot threes. I was like, Who, where? He said, I shoot them on 2K. I'm like, this, this ain't 2K? <laughs> you know, what are you talking about? Like, like, like practice you. And did you practice that shot? You know? And I had to explain to him that, you know, life ain't a video game. But for most people right now, life is a video game. It's, it's a technological thing. And that's why you don't you don't see the aggression in a dog and, and, and the pride uh, and the passion in a lot of people because they don't have to actually put in the work to um, create, maintain, and exude confidence, you know, so... In my opinion, I think technology is, um, has ruined competitiveness. I mean, that's just my opinion. Because everything I see, it's not really... People don't go at each other like they, they, like they... We used to be friendly, but then go for your head and still be friendly. Like, everybody just, eh, you're my friend. I don't want to embarrass you. No, that was the point. You got to you gotta be a shark out here. Go embarrass somebody. Make them look bad. They go, and if they, gotta, if they have a true heart of a champion, they're going to come... They're going to go home, work on... Whatever craft they got Come back better Because of that And then y'all Will be able to Sharpen each other Like iron sharpens iron We didn't go at each other To, to demoralize Or defeat them, to, to demoralize people For life We went at each other To make each other Other better But Because we're doing this With technology Nobody's getting better Because of technology We're competing with technology Oh my phone Is better than yours My um, Pixels are better Than your pixels My You know my, your, you know, one, my 4K is better than your 1080. That's, that is bullshit. That's all bullshit. Delete all that shit. But, you know, my catchphrase is better than your catchphrase. It's shit that just doesn't matter. You know, and then when you're stuck in life and you really have to compete against people who have grown, grown up competing, people are lost. But, like I said, I digress. It's time to go, y'all. Peace. Uh-oh. Hold up.